Right. YouTube. 6th of July, 2024. We're living in a new place, renting with uh, some housemates. It's been a while since I've had housemates. Um, over 10 years, actually. And yeah, it's been, it's been a journey. This last month has been the challenging month for the year. For myself, my wife Sabine. The career, the back and forths of uncertainty and looking at the steps that you take back and think, is it the right time to take steps back? How many steps do I take back before I go forward? Am I actually going to go forward? Which way is forward? And you start reflect, reflecting and you start doubting. And in the midst of all of this, you have, you know, your everyday life happenings in the moment. But I'll share with you something I wrote yesterday night. Um whilst I was struggling to go to bed. A tie, uh, this is called The Time We Said Goodbye to Wilson. Now, Wilson's family dog that I've known since I've met my wife, Sabine. He was born the same year I met her in 2017. And he just turned seven a month ago in June and um, yeah you go through the motions every day getting up getting ready getting to work getting through the day and getting home to get into bed and then you do it all over again the next day you dream of a better life even though you may seem like you've already made it um, Things seem greener over the hill, but the days are long and you feel like you're returning to a home that hasn't seen the light of day whenever you are there. So leaving at 4.30 in the morning when it's pitch black still before the sun peaks over the hill and coming home after the sun's gone down, you feel like you just left the house because it's the same time of night, you know? There's no difference. To do something. You leave the house to do something great, tedious, soul-destroying, or you just do something more than a nine-to-five to distract you from the fact that you have to now pay even more taxes. And your non-refundable time before you inevitably retire. You distract yourself from that too. The only time you shouldn't ever sell your time is sleep time. And um, yeah, because that's needed to energize your best awake time to be able to market it off to the highest bidders in hopes they don't haggle you for your overtime. But then in the middle of the night, you're awake, thinking if that awake time is optimized or not. Is it wasted the right way or is it wasted the wrong way? All of a sudden, your time game stops because there's movement on the other side of the house where your dogs are. They sound like something you've never heard before. You're like, oh. they're not moving around, but it's something. Could it be someone breaking in? You investigate and you come across one of your dogs having its first seizure. You're optimistic and think it's a nightmare, but it's not over and in the coming weeks, things get worse. 
but your entrepreneurial journey has little time allocated. Now, you chose this entrepreneurship life, which is a fancy word for um, that derives from a 13th century French um, word, entreprendre. I think I got that right. Which means to undertake or to do something. So, yeah, you're on this entrepreneurial journey. A little time allocated for these out of the ordinary problems. But they're very important problems to deal with because, hey, it's your family member having a problem right now. And yeah, it's frustrating. Um, you're poised with a heartbreaking decision to say goodbye because brain tumors are unforgiving with time. They don't give a fuck. A week on, you're writing this to confess how little time you allocated in the last month of one of your best friend's lives. But how could you have known? He was meant to be there for another seven years. There's only seven. Nothing is meant to last forever. And it will feel like only a moment if you just let time pass you by. You blink and it's gone. Because you're so caught up with all this other stuff. Trying to get ahead. Ahead of what? You know? I realize all of this. Reflect on all this and remember that it's not the first time that this has happened. The exact same thing occurred six years ago where before we had Wilson because he was originally my wife's dad's dog. Um, the reason why we eventually got him was in 2018, I was a uh, part-time school teacher. I finished my degree and I was trying to get my relief teaching gigs, you know, hitting up schools, getting contracts, getting relief days, and then finally get a getting a permanent job. I remember getting a, um, a job at a school, my first contract. It was a term three contract, literally around this time, six years ago. And there was a two week break between term two and term three and I had scheduled in a trip to the US with just myself to explore the world on my own for a little bit. And I had my dog Hun, he's a German wire hair pointer, my baby, my first baby. And seven years old, and I was stoked. Stoked for him, stoked for him being in my life and yeah, I'd be walking with him every day. And I remember getting the call from my, uh, from the school saying, you've got the job. And I remember he was with me at the time and it was a moment. But I was looking back at it and thinking it's, you know, thinking about that career and less about the dog. The dog was in the moment, but so was the career. But the career had a long-term, you know, it's happening, you know. Anyway, on the trip to America, I remember before that, he also had seizures and he had to be let go. But I wasn't there to say goodbye. Fortunately, this time I was able to say goodbye and um, for Wilson. This is same but different, you know? Yeah. Moving fast and progressing through a career to hit a milestone that celebrates your level up. 
with a holiday and these things happening but not paying attention to the actual moment these wonderful souls around you um, reflecting on each walk every morning and every evening stroll who does that anymore you know you go and tick the boxes to complete your steps for the day or um, exercise we provide our companions to make sure that you know they've got their exercise but they're more than just pets they are our true mindful mentors who give us who guide us through seeking constant adventures with us not selling that time for anything else except for being in the moment with us and that's why dogs to me are like that forever reminder that no matter how good your progression is with your career or if you're having to take two steps back in your career and things are stressing your puppies are there to have that adventure right now every morning and every afternoon every single day and I feel like I've lost that moment twice and now six seven years apart I'm reminded to slow down and I have in the last week I've slowed right down I'm recording this I was so inspired after this trip to the Gold Coast with Sony. Everything was moving so quickly, you know, get home, let's do it, let's do it. And touched down on the Friday night, having to make the ultimate decision of saying goodbye to my friend. The timing was almost poetic, you know. The lesson out of all of this is to take your time back today because trading it off to have more time sooner will never be soon enough anyway hey uncut unedited raw sevo thoughts let me know what your thoughts are on that one thanks for watching and listening